We're here at a studio in Barcelona, and we've just shot the ad for the Raycast for iOS announcement. And since it's now available on the go, we thought, why not make a demo right here instead of back at my studio? So let me show you all you need to know about this new flavor of Raycast. Let's go. This is what you see when you open the Raycast app. There is this top navigation bar with some of our most used commands and quick access to AI here at the bottom. So let's start with that. We worked really hard to make this your favorite way to use AI on the go. For that, we created an experience that allows you to use AI voice first or keyboard first, whichever way you prefer. I find myself using both depending on the situation. I can either tap or hold this little waveform button to ask AI a question. What does a DEP do in a film set? I've noticed that this is my favorite way to use it, just for one-off questions. If I need to keep the conversation going, I can do that either by chatting or talking. What about a production designer? Just like on desktop, you can also add attachments. What do you think that guy is doing? And if you tap right here under the title, you see all of the settings that you're used to on desktop. You can add system instructions, change the model, and even toggle image generation or search the web. This means that all of the models you have access to with Raycast AI are now available on mobile. So that's pretty cool. If we go back to the home screen, we get a reset. To see your previous chats, you can tap this AI icon in the top nav. Here, you can browse your history to continue any of the chats that you've created on your phone or on your desktop. You can also access all of your presets here, including the ones you created on your computer. It's amazing to have all of your custom assistants in your pocket, as well as having access to over 30 models available in the Pro Plan. It's worth mentioning that in order to sync your data between your computer and your phone, you need to have Cloud Sync enabled, and that is a Pro feature. If you're not a pro subscriber, you can still use all of these AI features for free for up to 50 messages. You can also use notes, quick links, and snippets, which I'll talk about in a bit, without any limit. They just won't sync to your computer. So let's see how they work. Right here on the home screen, you see the icons for notes, snippets, and quick links, which are fully functional, just like they are on desktop. You can use, create, edit and delete them. To find anything, you just swipe down and search for it. I can search for create notes and start typing. And it's the same fully functional markdown experience as we have on the desktop. You see, this is a very familiar experience. When I swipe to get back, we're home again. If I go to notes up here, you see all of my notes and everything syncs to the cloud instantly. Of course, from the home screen, I can also search for any notes, snippets or quick links directly, which is quite convenient. If I search for my Raycast Instagram quick link, I can open it directly in the app. And they work with arguments as well. I've demoed my search tweets quick links quite a few times, and here they work exactly the same. And it opens directly in the dedicated app if you have it installed, or if not, in your default browser. Snippets in Raycast are a great way to save reusable blocks of text. And on iOS, we've designed it so it's really easy to get them on your clipboard straight away. So you can browse through your list of snippets, or even faster, just swipe down from the home screen and search for them. I have one that's my list of coffee shop recommendations in Barcelona that I find myself always sharing with friends. Let me search for it and share it with Bruno. I know that many of you rely on snippets auto expansion, which is not really something we can control on iOS, but we're working on a custom Raycast keyboard that will make accessing your snippets and AI commands much faster. So stay tuned for that. Anything that you can search for in the Raycast for iOS app can be added as a favorite, which means you get quick access directly from the home screen. Adding something to your favorites is really easy. You just tap and hold. Let me show you my actual setup now.
If your phone has the action button, you can set it up to launch the app or a specific command. For example, if you use AI a lot, you can quickly ask something just by pressing the action button. But if you know me, I take a lot of photos, so I'll keep mine as the camera. What I really make use of though is widgets. I have one for AI and another one with a few of my favorites for easy access. You can imagine that porting the Raycast experience to a whole new platform has been a massive challenge for the team. And we worked really hard on bringing what makes Raycast, Raycast to iOS. We hope that just like on desktop, this is going to become an indispensable tool to help you create and execute your workflows, be productive and stay in the flow. We can't wait to see what you're gonna do with it. And of course, this is just the beginning. You can check out the ad we've just shot and published up here. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips and news about Raycast. And that's a wrap, everyone. Where's the magic gone? Where did it run to? Never thought it'd leave, but I'm left with an emptiness. Won't you tell me where the magic